Well, world, it is Tuesday, December 29th. A beautiful, sunshiny day in Defiance. Blue skies, um, but cold. It was, I think it was 18 degrees when I looked at the thermometer this morning. So if you go out, dress appropriately. The devotion today is written by Marche Guerrero and is entitled Risk, Risky. Marche bases the Devotion upon the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 2, verse 13, New Revised Standard Version. Now, after they had left, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up and take the child and his mother and flee to Egypt and remain there until I tell you, for Herod is about to search for the child to destroy him. And Marche writes, I don't know if I would have helped hide Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. It's easy to tell myself I would have. Who wants to think that they would turn away Jesus? When I try to imagine what I would have done, then I can't help but consider what I'm doing now. There are people running for their lives now. There are parents risking everything to save their children from, their, from the egos and violence of heartless rulers now. There are unjust laws and people willing to help enforce them now. And I'd like to say I've risked everything I can to help the holy families of our time, but I'm unsure that's true. I ask myself why I haven't risked more, and it varies by day. Some days I feel too exhausted. Sometimes I'm scared. Sometimes I'm just breathing deeply, hoping the next moment that I'm the target of oppression comes later than sooner. I get an internal feedback loop, telling myself I'm doing all I can, all I can when I can. But I'm starting to reckon with the fact that this, is simply, this simply isn't true. My friend and I were talking about what people of faith are called to do in this moment. And she said, we are all called to skill up our capacity for risk. And I agree, starting with me. Risk may not look the same for all of us, but we can continue business as, we can't continue business as usual when people need refuge and righteous protection. Marche's prayer. It's time to get risky in new ways. Expand my capacity for risk so that I may be a vehicle for liberation. Amen. Yeah, this devotion inspires me to, um, to not be afraid, to, to stand up for those who um, can't stand up for themselves. That who are oppressed, who are on the margins of society and ignored by society or oppressed by society. Um, I can do something, and I should, but it's hard. It can be scary to be risky, I think. I mean, if you look at the life of Jesus, um, he lived a risky life, and it got him killed on the cross. But I think that's what we're called to do, is pick up our cross and follow Jesus. Do what we can with what we have to help those who need the help. That's living a life of faith, and that's ensuring that we're doing the work to bring heaven to earth, um, on earth just as it is in heaven, to do God's will on, on earth just as it is done in heaven. Because that is our call as followers of Christ. It isn't to wait passively until we die so that we can get to a better place, but to work to making this world a better place, knowing that we are loved and out of response to that love. And it's risky. So my prayer for you today is to uh, find the courage to be risky and to know that you are loved even when you can't do all that you think you should be doing, but keep doing all that you can do with what you have and where you are. I'll talk to you again tomorrow.